My name is Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and pretty much I go sourcing at garage sales, uh, thrift stores, bin stores, storage units, online liquidation, like you guys name it, I'm trying to do it. Tell you who's gonna give UGA a beating? Nobody. Missouri. Nobody. Missouri. Nobody. Oh yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> mm mm. I will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought the Longhorn was gonna. Uh, no, no. Wreck everybody, but they starting to fall off the map too. Yeah. <laughs> I was missing the time. Some rough condition. You want to price me? What you got? So he said, he said that he would sell me a Wii for 10. Okay. But, so, I don't think that's going to work because it's corroded. I throw it in there, maybe I can get it to work. But I'll see if he, can, if he would throw that in for 10, for total for the for the Wii. And then, I can't know. Yeah, um. I don't, I think he'll be fine with that just because the corrosion on that one, I'm pretty sure he'll be fine with it. But, if not, I get it, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's going to throw those in there with 10. Because it's got all the remotes and all on that one. Yeah. So, I can do 5 on that one, though. So, it'd be 15. Can you give your price on the camera? No, no, no. <laughs> Dude, how much <clears throat> is your camera? In the box? 10. 10. So, are you looking at 25? That's a good camera. I got one of them. Yeah. I use it every day, check patrol camera. I would like, do 20 for it all. If you, if you do five on the camera, because... Yeah, I don't think you can do any less on that. No? No. I'll tell you what, I'll do... All right, I'll put the camera back. I'll do 15 on this. I'll put the camera back. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20. It's 40. I think it's 48 rolls. You have change for a 20? 20. You have change for a 20? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Yep, thank you. Have a good one. Huh? Old from the 80s. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was saying it whenever y'all were listening to them up. Mint condition. That one right there in mint condition is like 500 bucks. Yeah, I bet. I sold them for 30 bucks. Well, Iron Maiden's a great rock band anyways. Yeah, maybe. I just read last night they was on tour. Yeah. She gets you ring up? Yeah, she, uh, it's a little high. $10 on the camera was a little high for me, but I, I did 15 on this because I told her, because you said 10 on the Wii's, and then I was like, I wonder if you would throw this in for, for, for 10 for total because... This remote right here is corroded. So what she get? What she, so what you pay for this? 15? Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. You want so, the camera for five? I, I, that's what I asked her. She said she couldn't do lower than that. So I was like, all right, that's yeah, why I'll do the camera. Shit. So but, I mean, if you Because because online they're going for like twenty five. So after fees, I might. Five, get five, I'll, I'll get it for five. I'll if, get okay. Five I appreciate it. But yeah. See that one though. It's all it's all corroded. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. But. Get you? Oh yeah, because the turquoise. Right. So if I can get it to work, I'll sell it with it. But if not, that extra bag will help. <clears throat> he said he'll do five on that camera. 
Ooh. Ooh. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, have a good weekend. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Do what? Do y'all have a price on this? Ten dollars? Yeah, I think it's cool for ten dollars. Yeah, it's I mean, super retro. I mean, yeah. I mean, do you I know anything say, about it? No, so no, I, I kind of do. So, um, I bought an auction lot. I have a friend who does an auction. Okay. Okay. So they had this auction. The person that was in it was into the theater. Right. So I got that's where I got the adult, the theatrical the, yeah. costumes. So I right. Say adult costumes. It's not like you know. Right. Right. Skanky Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But, so this was part of it. I got the wigs. Those are really nice wigs. Is this wool? Do you know? Yeah. It should be I can right. Much Wait, let's see. That's wool. It says it right here. Recycled wool, eighty percent. Yeah. 15% unknown recycled fibers, 5% other fibers. That's funny. Okay. And nylon on the inside. Yeah, $10. Yeah, I think that's cool so, for 10 yeah, bucks. Yeah, so we picked out a few things, and then, you know, we've sold a but We had 18 wings. Yeah. They've all been washed, sanitized, and brushed out. Right. And I have a question. You know how much you want on your, uh, your little workout belts? Yes. Okay, so I want... Um, <clears throat> us, how many do you want? Uh, depending on price, I might take them all. $5 a piece? They're $30 belts. How many is there? 10. There's 10 of them in there? Yeah. Let's see. $5 gives me a little bit of change, gives you a little bit of change, and yeah. somebody One, else two, is going to buy them a, a good deal. Good morning. Right yeah, that's 10. Um, good morning. Would you do 40 to make it even 50? Yeah, I got a $50 bill too. Sure. That work? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I don't have a fifty dollar bill, but I got exact change for you. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, ten, 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 ten. Perfect. Fifty bucks. All right. Yes, ma'am. Cool. Thank you. Thank I, you. No, I appreciate the deal. I'm so glad you could use these. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Somebody landed on a trip to New York to see the big place. Oh, that right there? Yeah. No, I thought that was cool. It is. It is. Yeah. Wool jacket. I thought it was interesting enough for ten bucks. I was like, yeah, I'll take it for ten. It's kind of, it's like a, it's like a, uh, what do they call it, conversation piece. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Needs to be clean. Yeah. No. Get a little lint roller. A clean little up roller. Good. Clean yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's my stuff right there. I'm gonna All keep. Right. I'm gonna keep looking though. All right. Quick. You know what you wanted on this? Five dollars for both of them. Oh, there's two of them in it? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's a, that's even, even better. Huh? Even better, yeah. <laughs> Got it. <clears throat> five dollars. Five dollars, five dollars. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate the deal. All right, I think I'm good now. Yeah. Charlie. Charlie. Oh, this is like Binks, don't it? 
kitty kitty. Oh yeah, you pretty. You pretty kitty. Yeah, that's, that's okay. We all got a little bit of that, huh? Yeah. Oh yes. We love kitties. We don't cat. We don't pet cats, shall we? Yes, we do. No, straight back. <laughs> Cute. Is this the price that's on it? No. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. What about your um? Your bag is like your little small Legos over there. That's in this bag right here, I should. Bag of Lego bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, little small ones, yeah. yeah those are three dollars or two for five. Is there a deal for everything in here? Like the whole box? Um, six, seven. seven of those. And then four of these and then three dollars for everything and that's including the toy store. So 50 plus this, so 35 for that? Yeah. Or, yeah, 35 for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's a great deal. 50 bucks. That should be right. <laughs> Is that right? 50, okay. Awesome, yeah. That's the neighbor's cat, but she thinks she lives in there. Yeah. We, have, we have to say a cat that looks just like that named Binks in our neighborhood. And she lives two doors, or he lives two doors down. And he comes and hangs out with us all the time. Looks He's just like him. Neighborhood cat. Yeah. yeah. Neighborhood cat. All right, guys. So check it out. So we're back at the house. So normally I don't do these recaps like this. Um, I normally just throw up the soul comps and stuff like that um, on the screen. Uh, but if you guys know, I'm also a little sick. So I apologize for that. Um, but just kind of give you guys uh, uh, something else that we actually picked up from today. So uh, before we left our my neighborhood, um, there's actually a yard sale um, in my neighborhood. And I was like... Uh, I don't have my GoPro battery in my camera yet, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna stop there real quick Didn't think I was gonna be fine and then crazy, but I do want to show you guys what I picked up um, from that yard sale as well uh, Plus whatever you guys saw during the actual video um, <clears throat> I've been to these people's yard sale before very cool people. And they usually have some nice stuff, but uh, yeah, so they got some Harley-Davidson like shirts or They're not jackets, but you know anything Harley-Davidson usually does pretty well, but got it for a dollar <clears throat> Excuse me and then you know a little pinstripe button up harley davidson got that for three all great sizes too another little uh pinstripe harley davidson with the embroidered logo there all them extra larges um apparently the guy said he's losing some weight so um <clears throat> so that's pretty cool uh, and then we got some uh some pants here i think they're all harley davidson yeah so there's uh let's see here so yeah harley davidson and we got these for three bucks a piece so three bucks there three bucks on this one. Oh wait no that's actually a wrangler i did not actually mean to grab that one um but he said they should be flame resistant uh maybe not these but anyways that one i probably shouldn't have picked up <laughs> but i thought i picked up just the harley davidson one so yes another harley davidson little black label on the back um these do pretty well uh then you got harley davidson pants again right there so i could have saved myself like three bucks but i paid uh 50 bucks for all of this plus what i'm about to show you and another black label uh harley davidson pants so three bucks a piece on all those and again like i said i paid 50 bucks for everything and then um i got these cody james boots i never heard of this brand before but they're actually pretty decent so if you guys ever uh, find cody james boots i would recommend picking them up and i believe i got these for five bucks yeah right there five bucks for those and then he had a helmet uh, he had three helmets out there but this is the only one that was branded uh, harley davidson and uh but i got 50 bucks for all this you guys between the boots all the pants the shirts and the helmet i paid 50 bucks for it so let's see right here <coughs> all right so this is what the harley davidson helmet looks like looks like hdmc 1903 which i'm assuming stands for harley davidson motorcycles this is a harley davidson hd-b01 dot certified there's that beautiful uh mask in there and then this is a size xxl so it's a great size and it's pretty clean so and it has the uh the little dust cover thing right there so 
uh, yeah, we got all that for 50 bucks. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, throw up some soul comps for you guys so you guys can see that it wasn't necessarily a total wreck. Um, but before I let my future self show you guys the recap and all that, I do want to show you guys this one particular item. Um, so this thing right here is embroidered Patrick, and there's no like label on it. So I'm assuming this is probably going to be more like an extra large, but it is the American Phantom of the Opera australia tour 1991 it's 80% recycled wool and then other fabric and all that but i mean i've never seen anything like that i know phantom of the opera can have some collectability to it <clears throat> but in australia tour 1991 i'm definitely going to have to do some research on this so if you guys can think of a particular price that i should start this at if i don't find out how much this is roughly worth then um you know that'd be greatly appreciated and also too i'll talk about this real quick last thing i promise um, these Toy Story uh, Woody pull um, little toys. So I actually bought uh, four of them a while back. A little bit different model than this one. And I bought them on clearance at Walmart for like 15 bucks a piece. And I was like, you know, I'm going to sit on it for a little bit. And we actually sold all four of them for 100 bucks a piece on Amazon. So I thought this was, I, I, I told my wife, I was like, I don't think this is the exact same one. But it's got to be worth something. Well, the lady at the yard sale, um, I asked her, was this the price? She said no. She says 15 so I said, okay, bet. Paid that and all the Legos for 50 bucks. Um, <clears throat> so this right here actually sells for about 85 on Amazon. So that's where we're going to list this, make all of our money back, and then the Lego stuff will be all pure profit. The Lego stuff isn't worth, like, crazy amounts of money, but we'll definitely make some money there. Now, with that being said, the future me is going to take it away. I love you guys. Future me, take it away. All right, you guys. So I'm almost over this sickness. Y'all can probably still hear it um, in my nasal cavity. I'm all nasally still. <clears throat> but... I'm almost through this sickness. I've been sick for going on two weeks now. Um, as you guys, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I was fighting off a staph infection for me going to the gym. So I fought that off, and then right after that, I ended up getting sick, uh, which is unfortunate, but you know what? It is what it is. But I do have some stats for you guys from this video. Now, again, this video wasn't like anything crazy amazing. I would say overall, it's just very, very solid inventory um, because. A lot of the stuff is going to sell sooner than later. Um, I will say we have watchers on a ton of stuff. The Phantom of the Opera jacket, the wool jacket. Um, I actually have one watcher on it. I put it out there for $500, and I'm going to break down these stats for you guys with and without that $500. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the Nintendo Wii did not read discs, unfortunately. Uh, and that's why it's always good to haggle sometimes, because if you guys remember me saying in the videos, like I was like, man, it's kind of in rough condition. And I was trying to like sweeten the deal with the bag, um, but her sister, you know, was kind of firm on it. Um, and then, of course, you know, I worked with him, and uh, I ended up getting the camera for five dollars. So that would definitely help the Nintendo Wii not working. We sold the Nintendo Wii for nineteen dollars and fifty cents. Let's just say twenty bucks to make it easy. Um, and then the camera should sell for like twenty five. So I spent twenty, and I mean, I'll probably make. I'll probably double my money, maybe, maybe maybe a little less. So it's not necessarily a great pickup. If the blue Wii did work, you're looking at, I think, 50, 55 bucks for it. Um, so that's the reason why I gambled on the uh, blue one. Uh, there's a little bit more sod after. Um, but let's go ahead and break down uh, these numbers. So in total, throughout this whole entire video, we spent a total of $170. Um, as of right now, um, we only sold $27 worth of stuff, which puts us in the negative still by $143. But again, we have watchers on a ton of stuff, and a lot of that stuff is some good solid inventory. So with the jacket, just assuming that it's going to sell for, let's say, $500, that's, I think that's going to be on the higher end. There were some other ones that weren't as unique that are selling for about $2 to $250 all day long. Um, I've looked all over Google. Can't find anything of this, so it's definitely a one-of-a-kind piece and it's going to go to a certain buyer but the fact that we already have a watcher on it is kind of interesting um so with the 500 dollars added on to this we actually walked away with 1483 dollars worth of potential profits that is with the jacket without the jacket minus 500 dollars. so i'm not going to put a price on it so even if we didn't sell the jacket or accounting the jacket we still walked away with $983 in potential profit and spending $170 to walk out of there with pretty much almost $1,000. That's not a bad weekend. And if you actually look at a lot of the stuff that I picked up, a lot of that is some very, very good, solid inventory. Again, nothing crazy, but it's just solid inventory that is that is going to sell and they will eventually sell. Um, so overall, not a bad day of picking. And uh, this is coming off right after we won that storage unit. So definitely not a bad weekend. So with that being said, 
much love. I appreciate all love and support. We're getting very close to 8,600 subscribers. Uh, so thank you guys so much for that. Thank you guys so much for believing in me and sticking with me this uh, throughout this reselling journey. I really do appreciate you guys, each and every one of you guys, the new uh, newcomers, the you know the OGs of the channel, everybody that's a part of this chan channel as of right now. I appreciate you guys, and of course the future viewers as well. So uh, much love, it's your boy Georgia Picker. Catch you guys next video. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.